Hello, and welcome to an epi another episode of Hack Naked TV, recorded September 8th, 2015. I'm Aaron Lyons, and today we're going to be talking about the continued fallout from the OPM breach, the data collection in Windows 10 being backported to Windows 7 and 8, and FireEye vulnerabilities being up for sale. This episode is brought to you by Black Hills Information Security, the leaders in pen testing and active defense. Email consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com to request a quote today. And by Cybrary, get the latest hacking and security training from www.cybrary.it. Visit hacknaked.tv forward slash Cybrary for a referral link. Last week, uh, the Linux Foundation released their internal baseline security checklist for workstations. Um, it's available up on GitHub. The link will be in our show notes. It's a great document to supplement your CIS benchmarks that you should be using to secure your Linux workstations in your environment. On to some more juicy news. Uh, OPM is now spending 100 $33 million on credit monitoring for the 22 million victims of the breach. That is a lot of money for something that won't really help them out. It's more of a after-the-fact type of thing. It notifies you once your identity's been stolen. About the best you're going to get from credit monitoring is help to navigate the giant headache of regaining control of your identity. While that's probably worth something, it's not the fix that everyone thinks it's going to be. Also, the Windows 10 telemetry and data collection that had everyone up in arms and people really concerned about the privacy of Windows 10, <laughs> Microsoft is backporting that to Windows 7 and 8. You can't escape it. Uh, there, in, the, in our show notes will be a link to an article that describes exactly which updates these are and how you can get rid of them. So if you don't want them, you can uninstall these updates. And if you're concerned about privacy, privacy I highly suggest you go look, read that article and uninstall these updates. The EFF, EFF reports a win in privacy. Uh, the DOJ will be requiring all federal law enforcement agencies and state and local law enforcement who are working with federal agencies to get a warrant prior to using a stingray for data collection. Now, this is a big change. It's not perfect, but it's a step forward in the right direction. We should all be happy that, you know, you know, the EFF is out there fighting the good fight for us. We might not always agree with them, but at the end of the day, we need organizations like them. On to some other fallout here. HP, uh, or Tipping Point, is no longer going to be sponsoring the Pwn to Own contest. This come after, comes after change to the Wozner arrangement, which added specific curbs around the exports of intrusion malware and intrusion exploits. HP spent $1 million in lawyers to review this, and they stated that the legal uncertainty and compliance hurdles were too high for them to move forward. Uh, Pwn to Own is still going to run this year, though at a much, much reduced capacity. It's unfortunate that laws are getting put in place that are curbing research, valuable research like this. <laughs> Move on. This just broke yesterday in talking about security research. A security researcher by the name of Christian Eric Hermanson is holding vulnerabilities to FireEye's products up for ransom. He disclosed one publicly already to prove his authenticity, and the others he's selling for $10,000 each. He says he has three more. Uh, essentially, his stance is that if FireEye isn't going to pay him for his work and his time that he put into discovering these, he's going to sell it to someone who is. Um, the, you can imagine that on Twitter this is blowing up all kinds of drama, people taking both sides of this argument. I suggest you go out and check out some of the highlights out there. We'll link to the primary article in our show notes. That's it for this week. You can contact, uh, contact us at the show at hacknaked.tv. Follow us on Twitter 
Love to hear from you. Thank you.